All right, give me a timeless classic fragrance. Ooh. Leve Rouge by Mila Harris. Uh, that's really nice, but that's not timeless classic. Next one. Jo Malone, Vetiver and Golden Vanilla. Beautiful, but again, this is this is not what I meant. Next. Are you joking? Bonjour, bonjour, fragrance lover. Welcome back. Uh, today's video, we're gonna talk about five male designer fragrances you can keep for life. So this is something I'm not talking about my favorite ever. I'm talking about fragrances that are timeless or will be timeless. So this is iconic scents or future iconic scent that everybody loves, everybody will wear, or well, I don't know if everybody loves, but some are definitely crowd pleasers, some are ultimate classic. I've just done a little balance between the two and you've got five fragrances. So the first one I wanted to talk about is a timeless classic. It's a scent that will always be there. It was there in 1961, been remastered uh, quite recently, um, a few years ago, but it's still beautiful. And this is Garlin Vetiver. Guerlain Vetiver is a scent that is so versatile because it can be applied as a casual chic, I don't know, outfit. It can be applied if you go to the forest having a walk. It can be applied if you just stay home chilling and you want something refreshing. Uh, you can you can go on a date with it, like if you wear like casual chic suit. It's really like a beautiful, beautiful scent. It smells nearly like the classic eau de cologne, so meaning, you know, quite zesty at the beginning, and then it dries down to something a bit more earthy and greener. So this is really what it is. It feels very fresh, and then after, it is a bit more spicier, and then goes really to the ground kind of scent. It's got also like a really nice tobacco scent because this tobacco scent is really gentle and very blended really well with the vetiver accord. So it feels nearly like it's just very smooth and sharp at the same time. So you've got a lot, a lot of ingredients in there. That's really f reflecting the perfumery how it was before because back in the days we were doing like very complex scents with a lot of ingredients but a small dose of each ingredient. Well, this is it. But basically what it gives you is a very complex composition but it gives you a very simple scent. So when you smell it, it doesn't feel complex. It smells like something very simple, easy to wear, but still so nice. And it's so refreshing to have something like, okay, I don't really know what I'm smelling, but it's nice. It smells really clean, just like the eau de cologne before, like, you know, it was used for cleaning, it was used for everything, refreshing the house. It smells ultra clean. It's nearly soapy and this is a bit vintage as well but I feel for modern times it will never get dated. It's, I think it would be classy for eternity. And you need to remember also that it was worn by iconic person like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, I think Harrison Ford wore it, loved it uh, and it was the signature scent of Kennedy worn by Jodie Foster as well. It's very unisex to be honest. I love wearing that. It smells ultra qualitative. I mean, it's Guerlain. It's not like a little house like this. Uh, it's years and years of experience in perfumery. And this is so qualitative, but it's very cheap. So if you want a cheapy, very qualitative, come on. Like, it smells like the ultimate gentleman, but a gentleman that doesn't show too much. It smells like a jazz music for me. It's got a lot of character, but it's not too loud. It's very sophisticated. It's like aristocracy in a bottle. Okay, I'm exaggerating, maybe. 
as we are talking about classic we have to go through Chanel and I try to like get only one percent uh, one fragrance by brand but it's so difficult but yeah it was really really difficult for Chanel my ultimate favorite male fragrance is definitely egoist by chanel it's my favorite but as we're talking about five designer for life i mean egoist is beautiful it's not like everyone will enjoy like for life we're talking about something that will never be out of trend like egoist still have that vintage even though it's so beautiful but i wanted to talk about something that is easy to wear and will never be out of trend and i think for that i need to go to a bestseller for once you know it's a bleu de chanel So the Bleu de Chanel that, I'm, that I chose and which is my favorite is the Eau de Parfum. I probably gonna do a video on that if you want it, just tell me in the comments. But um, I really enjoy the Amber Accord that the Eau de Parfum has compared to the other one. So for me, it's timeless and it will be timeless because it's still quite a young fragrance. But because you've got a touch of grapefruit, so it's slightly fruity refreshing strongly refreshing fragrance because the grapefruit gives that very acidic smell at the beginning and then after you've got a, like a woody tone that is arriving with a bit of cedar cedar gives that like lemony sharp woody note and then you've got this beautiful amber accord that give a little bit of roundness of the fragrance so it's a fragrance that is evolving when you spray you don't get like the full scent right at the beginning you can discover it through the time it's a very easy to wear gentleman scent i would say but it's timeless it's like perfect because there's all this balance of fruitiness amber wood a bit of spice as well but slightly not too much so it's really like a little pinch of everything that gives a very balanced fragrance it's a very versatile scent again even though i would see it more on a man with like a, a suit but a bit more modern like it's not like guerlain vetiver this kind of like um vintage very refined man it would be more this one like a more modern guy with like a suit a bit open like you know a bit loose uh, cooler I would say uh, a bit more on trend guy it's really like a captivating smell and I'm saying that because of the umber it's so attractive he feels um, a man with a, like a two days beard do we say that do we say that yeah it makes me think of that it's a very determined scent as well it's someone that is ambitious and you know want a scent that is gonna get compliments basically yeah for me it's something that wouldn't be out of trend in a few years still it will be always be there because that balance give it a very pleasant smell and you can't you can't say anything about about a pleasant smell really it's just pleasant that's something that I will keep probably for life. The next one, and it's probably not a surprise, 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 <laughs> this is Terre d'Hermès. Terre d'Hermès is my favorite scent for men and my one of my favorite scents for myself. So, you know, uh, I've been talking a lot about it, but I will always talk about Terre d'Hermès. <laughs> what is beautiful is we get something a bit more poetic. I mean, Jean-Claude Nella created something that is between the earth and the sky. So it's uplifting, but also earthy. It's like a good combination between poetic and strength, strength, strength. Oh, come on! Strength! It's woody, it's vegetal, and it's also mineral. You really have that mineral tone uh, that you have in the fragrance. It's slightly salty, you've got the orange bitterness that is attacking you at the beginning, very sharp, and then it 
you really smell that peppery tone and it's really like an echo that you can really smell that pepper is really there and then dry down to something a bit more earthy with that vetiver tone so compared to the Guerlain this is like a more like a spice bomb compared to Guerlain that is a bit more softer this one's got much more spices also a bit I would say a bit more sporty even though it's very refined and very classic it's a mature scent it's not for like a, a little boy to wear I would say no 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 it's mature it's classy it's sophisticated I would see a man like you know working doing something manual with this fragrance I don't know why or you know like um, a sailor or something like that <sighs> It's got a lot of charisma and this is what I really enjoy, a charisma but all very classy. I would say it's someone that doesn't want to, doesn't do a lot of effort in terms of outfit but looks cool anyway. You know what I mean? It's not a shy fragrance, it's definitely powerful but if for someone that doesn't need to, to be to be on the spot, you know, it's someone very classy that doesn't need that spotlight but wants something with a lot of character that is quite unique and even though it's a oh, <laughs> it's a bestseller or something whatever for me it feels always unique and oh just oh no no oh, never be bored of that next one i wanted to talk about is a durum sauvage durum, du N'importe quoi. The next one and is from the Rest Dior. And again, that was a big, big struggle for me to choose one from Dior because there's a lot of my scent that I absolutely enjoy. All the Dior Rum range for me is beautiful, which is my favorite Dior Rum Intense. But because of, uh, you know, the recent, uh, not reformulation, but change in the range and things like that, even though it's still available, or I don't know if it's not, I don't really want to talk about it because I don't know what's going to happen with it. So, by Dior Rum. I had, of course, Fahrenheit that I enjoy a lot and I think it's, again, timeless. But it's not really the crowd pleaser, like, I mean, it's it's not for everyone Fahrenheit even though it's so beautiful I chose something that for me will always be timeless and it's a classic and you can't go wrong with that is Dior Eau Sauvage not the Sauvage Eau Sauvage okay this is the pure the parfum that I wanted to cover even though I love I love the classic but the parfum I mean, I was really, really surprised. It is so good. So it's a citrus aromatic scent. So you've got really that sharp lemon at the beginning. You've got that touch of lavender and vetiver that gives like a very relaxing tone to the fragrance. It's, I would say, a heavy one. It's not like this really light fragrance that's going to be uplifting. No, no, no. This is the James Bond of the fragrance, okay? It's a bit more mature as well. It's got much more character, very different than the other one and what is interesting with the parfum that's what I saw with the dry down you can get something a little bit more candle like mysterious because there's a profusion of myrrh and the myrrh gives that waxy smell to the fragrance which didn't have the classic or sauvage it's much more lemony fresh citrus like sharp and I felt I felt it, it looks like a smell that smell like a, a well-groomed beard you know it's wild but it's well groomed it's classic shaped i would say it's a very very smart scent i felt that when i was wearing it the scent was evolving during all the day so you know i would get at the beginning that very uh, citrus like scent and then after i could smell a bit more that lavendish vetiver earthy tone and then really that myrrh that was staying on my skin for the longest which i really liked and I felt was a bit different than the original so I would say for me this one will be a timeless in a year's coming it's very distinguished it's very alluring it's a lot of charism so yeah psh, beautiful and then my last one is like a compared to the other one a bit new new uh, but I think in the years coming uh, it will be one of the uh, I would say ultimate classic and it will go 
to the range of the timeless fragrance so this is something i personally will keep forever there's a little bottle that is coming to my home in a few days and i'm really happy because i don't know if you've seen my video about that but i gifted that fragrance to my brother it's Val <laughs> valentino yomo I gifted that fragrance to um to my brother uh, it was the first gift i've done to to someone in terms of fragrance and and he didn't like it and I was so sad and I was like oh my god I've got what is my taste literally but um but yeah I genuinely loved it and I remember I bought it without no advice uh, I just genuinely came in the store tried all the fragrance and I just thought this one was standing out so much At the time I was not so sure because I thought the packaging looked a bit too much for me and I wanted something more classy, but the scent was just stunning. And I was like, oh yeah, pff, let's get it. I'm now I quite enjoy the packaging because it looks like um, a bottle that is quite sharp. It looks like you're encapsulating something quite sensitive, but dangerous. It's more like a casual chic, I would say, outfit for this one. It's much more romantic, it's much more softer, it's much more gourmand. It's like a romantic scent made Italian style. Feels you have a, like, you know the little bow in Venice? You're inside, there's a gondolier and he's singing something to you at the guitar. So that's exactly what it smells like. There's a bit of bergamot, so slightly uplifting tone, but really what you can smell is that chocolatey, hazelnut, coffee beans. It's slightly leathery undertone, but this is really delicate. So definitely the gourmand, it feels very attractive and I need to add a gourmand to those uh, keeping for life Top. I would say it's more like a skin set, even though longevity is great. Um, it's more compared to the other fragrance, more an arti artistic scent, meaning it's for someone that is a bit dreamy, uh, that's got a more creative mind. That's what I thought. For me, it makes me think more of a lullaby, even though I want to eat it when I smell it. It's irresistible, but not accessible. So that's what it makes me think of. It, it gives me that impression of I want it, but I, you know, can't really. It's it's so attractive. And it's I think compared to the other one, the most sexiest fragrance of this definitely so sensual. It's easy, but it's really good so what can you say of course uh there's a lot of fragrance that i forgot to mention uh probably like uh, mont blanc the legend intense that i really enjoy wearing because of that apple little tone it's beautiful if you didn't try have a try fahrenheit of course i've said your home all these things blah 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 uh, I was thinking of L'Odyssée uh, from Isemiyake and there's the black version and it's beautiful too. I was thinking of Victoria Rolf, Spice Bomb or Aqua Di Gio, of course. But this is the one that I selected for you. So I hope you enjoy and I hope uh, everything is going well for you. And, uh, and that's it. Bye now. <laughs>